Welcome back students. Today is day two of the Your Voice is Power learning experience. We will continue to investigate how music, computer science, and entrepreneurship are pathways to promote racial equity and you'll continue to gain skills to help you code your final song for the competition. Today you will examine the layers of both racism and music and will code instrumental layers in your song. To warm up, I'm going to play the second set of lyrics in verse 1. As I play them, record what you think you hear Pharrell saying or meaning in these lines. So you're going to go to your assignment document. We're on the second slide, which is part 1, decode Pharrell's message, verse 1. I'm going to play verse 1. It's just an audio file. And as you're listening to it, uh, here's the words. You can read the words as you are hearing it and then fill in these boxes with uh, which of these concepts from the outcast imagination you believe it is talking about. Remember, there's not one right answer. This can mean many things to many different people. So you're going to decide for yourself. You can take a look at it now and then keep this slide open and fill it in as you are listening to what concepts do you believe you can identify from the outcast imagination. You will now dive deeper past your initial impression of verse 1 to analyze the lyrics using the outcast imagination rubric. You will break down the verse by focusing on a pair of lines and having and then identifying the principle from the outcast imagination that fits best with each pair of lines. So you're also going to be thinking about the message and why you're selecting the concept that you selected. So just return to your document and take a look at it again. Then we're going to go to our shared document and I'm going to give everyone who wants to a chance to share out what they put. And we can, uh, we don't have to all put the same thing. So um, it's going to be just an open discussion for whatever you felt you got from the, the lyrics. Let's now take a look at what Dr. Wilson has to say about these lyrics. Now before we go into part two, there's one more thing we're going to do, and that's still on this part one of your assignment. We're going to answer these last three questions. What message is being told through the whole verse? So think about it instead of two lines at a time, think about the entire message. And how do the lyrics layered on one another change the meaning? And how does the music or instrumentals add another layer to the message? So I'm going to wait a couple of minutes, let you think about your answers to these questions, and type them into your assignment document. Now go to the second to the next page in your document, part two, and we're gonna you're gonna have a chance to fill out some information on this assignment page as well. Yesterday we discussed what racism was. Today we are diving into the different types or layers of racism and how they show up in everyday life. As we go through each, please take notes in your assignment. There are three types of racism that you can see here. Interpersonal racism, institutional racism, and systemic or structural racism. So you should be on part two of your assignment document. The first definition is racism that occurs between individuals as personal interactions. This is interpersonal racism, which is a racial bias that occurs when individuals interact with others and their personal racial beliefs affect their interactions. It is the exercise of personal prejudices that demean, hurt, hurt or harm communities of color. An example of interpersonal racism is the use of a racial slur or an insensitive racial comment. The next definition is racism that occurs within institutions and systems of power. 
This type of racism describes an unfair policy or discriminatory practice of particular institutions like schools or workplaces that routinely produce racially inequitable outcomes for people of color and advantage for white people. Individuals within institutions take on the power of the institution when they reinforce racial inequities. An example of institutional racism would be a school's policy to suspend black girls who wear braids in their hair. The third type is racial bias among institutions and across society. This is structural racism. This involves the cumulative and compounding effects of an array of societal factors, including the history, culture, ideology, and interactions of institutions and policies that systematically privilege white people and disadvantage people of color. An example of structural racism is redlining which is a system once used by banks and the real estate industry that literally outlined the neighborhoods where people of color lived in red ink. If you lived inside the red lines, banks were less likely to give loans or invest. We are now going to work together to dissect how interpersonal, institutional, and structural systemic racism are at play within a few national recent national events. You're going to be using your breakout rooms and each breakout room is going to be assigned an article and you're going to read through the article and then detail what happened and what type of racism you can identify. You're going to fill this out on your document but also on the discussion slide. So we're all going to work together on the discussion slide to fill out this table and we'll get a chance, we'll have somebody from each group do a share out and we'll all get a chance to fill in our table. But you'll only have to read one article and then we'll um, get a review from the other groups to fill in your assignment. 